How's it? Today is Saturday, uh, December 24th. It is Christmas Eve. It is a squat bench deadlift day. So this is the first day where I am starting to do the squats twice a week. Um, basically, I'm just doing a 3x3 three three wherever I finished off from Wednesday. This is kind of to be more of a warm up, I, I believe is what he said. That's the words kind of he kind of used. So 120 is what I hit on Wednesday. It was pretty challenging on Wednesday. Um, I had some spine issues on Wednesday as well. I think they actually cleared up today. Um, so I feel pretty good. I don't know what's going to happen moving forward with this squat. I think maybe it might mirror the Wednesday squats for the time being for the remainder of this. But it for today, uh, 120 for three threes was pretty easy. I'm pretty happy with the quality of the reps overall. So not much to say about that. Um, as far as bench press goes, I am just increasing by 5 pounds from last week. So last week I did 5x5 five five at 185. It was after deadlifting, so that's kind of important to know if you're thinking about perspective. Um, you don't really use your um, chest when you're deadlifting, but you definitely use your back when you're benching. So that's an uh, important thing to know. And... For me, I think that pushing these five pounds every week for the bench is going to be definitely doable for a while. I don't know how long this while will be. I think my best five by five, I think, is like might have been 240. Maybe does that sound a little high? That might that might be a little bit high. Maybe it was 230. Well, uh, two 235. Well, whatever it was it was not 190 and so we'll see where I can go from here if I go very slowly um, it's all about progressive overload so five pounds a week again the, the smallest amount that I can add for the same rep scheme um, hopefully that would help me uh, this 190 was a lot easier than it was than the 185 was last week so overall pretty happy with that um, and then after that I moved into my sumo deadlifts which Normally I do my sumo deadlifts first, so it was a kind of a weird feeling to be doing them after the benches, um, but it is what it is. I had a lot of technical learnings today, I think is what I'll say. Um, you'll, so you'll see in the first couple sets that I'm just trying my best to, to brace, like generally brace and then pull from there and it doesn't really work. If I can lift like this, the way that I'm lifting 120 here at uh, 143, then I would be happy, but that's not at all what happens. And then my lower back starts to to dip into flexion and it doesn't feel good. Uh, it doesn't hurt my spine. It's not the same type of spine uh, pressure that I was feeling on Wednesday. So that's that's a promising sign. But you see here, my lower back is is dipping into flexion, and it only is the third rep of my first set of five. You know, it gets worse. It definitely gets worse progressively as I go on until I think the fifth set when I figured something out about how my deadlift should be looking. I was trying my best to to kind of practice decent technique but you can see here that my lower back is doing a lot of the lifting I essentially pick up the weight such that it is off the ground and then whatever position it is off the ground is where I, I pull from which I think is technically what a sumo deadlift is but I would like to be in a better position <laughs> um, when the bar is off of the ground and I think investing a little bit more time in my setup and keeping my try my best to wedge and keep my my chest over the bar so if I'm looking at where my sternum is if I push my weights <laughs> if I push my weights to where my sternum goes or sorry if I start with the with the bar on where my sternum is like if if uh, all right let me start over <laughs> um, 
if I start my position as far as chest goes with my sternum over the bar and I'm able to maintain that by by packing in my lats and wedging then I think the the movement is actually not bad I've yet to figure out how to do it for multiple reps on the same set but I think that the fifth rep or sorry the fifth set does exemplify what I'm trying to do the best for a lot of the other ones it's kind of just grip onto the bar and then pull I think I was thinking about something that my friend uh, Chris told me last year when I lifted with him at, um, at 24 he was saying that my sumo technique looked pretty good and I was just saying that it felt really slow and the reason it, f it felt slow is because I'm so used to lifting quickly off of the ground um, so I just have to remember that it is going to be a little bit slower off the ground and once it break breaks the ground then it moves really well All right so this is my last set you can already notice a, a big difference so this is hopefully how I will be moving forward with my deadlifts eh, not, <laughs> not good on that one and then last rep here Yeah, it's okay. First three, first three were pretty good. Um, last two were all right. And then I just finished off with one set of back extensions. I didn't have a lot of time today, um, but I didn't want to push too many back extensions because um, I knew I was gonna be on my feet for the whole night for at work. So it's gonna be a little a problem if I start tensing up and tightening up and just struggling overall at work so yeah that's it for my first sbd day uh, thank you for watching shoots